Hi guys, Dwayne here from DPS Constructions. Uh, just starting a brand new project today, so just going to give you a quick run through of what happens on the first day on site. Uh, we're just starting an awesome uh, old Queenslander style home in this beautiful leafy street in Wavell Heights in Brisbane. So um, I'll just give you a run through of what goes on. We've already been on site, we've uh, put all our temporary fencing and signage up. We've um, We've got the surveyor on site this morning, so he's finding all the locations in the street and um, he's going to set up some RLs and some datums for us to work off. Um, he's also marking all our profiles on the site. So I'll just give you a quick look. This is a Theod light. Um, that's what the surveyor uses to find all these marks up and down the street. And then you can see they get transferred um, onto the ground, which is what we work off to set the property out. So this is our site at Wavell Heights. Uh, the surveyor is now moving in, inside the property. He's found all these marks on the street and he'll now come through and start putting some marks on our profiles. So this um, timber that you can see is a profile. We run that, as you can see, we run that around the perimeter of the entire site. set up level, uh, it's generally set up at roughly finished floor height so that when we pull our string lines um, we can mark everything out nice and accurately. So what happens now, the surveyor will go along and put marks in our profiles and mark, basically mark out all the outside edges of the house. So as you can see here, um, we've put a lot of marks and nails on the profile. So we like to use different colours, so basically pink will be outside a wall frame. Um, anything that's in yellow will be a grid line or an offset line. Um, so basically that, the surveyor goes around and marks every single um, grid line and outside edge of the home. And then from that we can set it out. So like everything's marked out, um, planter boxes, um, garden walls, deck. Um, you'll see here, this house has got an undercroft with a block wall around the garage area. So you'll see here, we've marked the outside of the block wall and then this here shows where the block wall is. The reason we set everything out like this is um, and run a perimeter profile around the entire block is it's very easily um, to understand all the marks and because it's out of the way of the machines, it's never going to get knocked or moved. Um, and then areas like this block work, we can now set an offset line off of that of 80 millimeters, which will put our reinforcing steel in the center of the block work when we're pouring our footings. So, um, if we go along quickly, you'll see every profile now has been marked out. Um, we've got all the grid lines down this side. So where the undercroft area is, you'll see, so back of the block uh, garage, we've marked block work and posts. Because this house has got an undercroft, there's all 75 mil columns. So you'll see here, we've got a line, we've got a, then we've got an offset line to the center of the column. So we can now set up all our SHS posts and our piers um, underneath the house off of those lines. Uh, while the surveyor's been on site, he's given us some height. So down here we've got an RL, um, which is the reference level, which we can now use this pin to confirm and double check all the heights that we set out on site. And then up here we've actually got him to give us a finished, an FFL, which is a finished floor level. So now we know as we work up, we keep referencing back to this mark for the whole job, uh, we know it'll be correct. So look, there you go guys, that's what happens in the first couple of days on site. Fencing goes up, um, temporary toilet will be delivered. Um, we've done finished all our soil tests um, and we've done all our profiling and marking out. And we've also had a machine here and uh, we've established where the sewer line is. So there's no um, risk of hitting it when we do the pool. And we've also found the old sewer connection. So now the plumber can set up to that. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of an insight into what happens in the first couple of days on a job site.